Hello, dear Udoers and Overdoers. Welcome to this Udo Point of Sale tutorial. Managing a restaurant is definitely not the same as managing a shop or a store. Udo Point of Sale solution is quite versatile and can handle both of them. Indeed, we need to be able to manage our tables, take the orders, include client specifications, send those orders to the kitchen or to the bar, split recipes, and many other tasks. Even though our database is online-based, we can keep working offline when the connection is lost. This can happen a lot when we are walking around the restaurant and taking orders from a distance. Still, it's not a problem anymore thanks to Udo's point-of-sale solution. We'll get resynchronized with our database later when we retrieve that connection. In this video, we will show you how to set up the POS to meet all of our expectations and be our best ally. Ready? Let's just dive into it. All right, we are back here in our back end. And to access our point of sale, we are going to click on the application. We have created already a point of sale. And to reach the settings, as you may know, you have to click on the three dots on the top right part and go to settings. Once you're here in the settings page, you have to click on the button that it says it's a bar or a restaurant. As we said before, you can manage different point of sales at the same time, a store, a bar, and etc. So to have all the options, you have to click it here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to activate the floors and tables, and that will allow us to create our floors. The first one is we're going to create is the bar area, and we're going to click on Create and Edit. Once you do that, you're going to be brought to a new view, and you can create tables in here. The first one I'm going to create is the bar itself, and I'm going to say it has 15 uh, seats. And I'm going to create a new one, that is going to be a regular table with four seats. I'm going to save and close. And everything looks OK here. I'm going to save and close it as well. And the next thing I'm going to activate is the internal notes. We want to activate this because we want to send notes or information from the person that is taking the order to the kitchen or to the bar. As you may know, customers have always very different requests when they make their orders. The next thing we're going to talk about is the restrict product categories. Uh, again, you can have both uh, POS sessions at the same time, a store and a bar. But you don't want all your products to appear at both of them. So you can restrict which ones are going to appear. In this case, since we have a bar, we just restricted for the beverage and food. All right? But you can edit all of them, and you can uh, add to your products, and you can select here as you wish. This is totally uh, adjustable. The next thing we're going to select is the large scroll bars. And we're going to do that because we're going to use a tablet in our um, area. And this makes it easier to scroll down through all our uh, products when we are having it. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to activate the order printer. And we want to do that because we want to send the messages to the kitchen. And I'm going to add the printer kitchen here. Wait, how do you configure a printer? Hold on, Loredana. Breathe a little bit. We will have another video explaining all that. For now, let's just keep it like that. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to activate the tips. So we're going to scroll down a little bit, and we're going to activate the tips here. And since our company is really interested in having the tips, we're going to activate both options here. You can go ahead and check it out. The next thing we're going to do is, scrolling down a little bit, we are going to select the bill printing. And this will allow us to print the, the receipt before the payment. If you don't allow, uh, uh, activate this setting before uh, the payment is done, you cannot print the receipt. All right? And the bill splitting, because after that, you want to uh, split the, the bill uh, with the people that are sitting on the table. And this makes it very easy. So. Everything seems to be set it correctly. I'm going to save it. Never forget to save it. And let's check it out how it looks like in the front end. All right, everybody. We're here back in our back end. We already accessed the point of sales. And we're going to start a new section by clicking the button. Everything is going to be loading up. And we're going to click on Open Session. There you go. Wait. I can see the table recreated, but not the bar. Where is it? You're right, Loredana. Actually, everything starts in the same position. And we're going to adjust that right now. So, and whenever you click on the pencil on the top right part, you enter the edit mode. And you can click on the table and move it around. And as you can see, the bar wasn't below it. 
So we are going to start by adjusting the bar. We are going to change the shape and size of it just to match the real bar that we have. And we are going to change the color because our bar is with a reddish wood color and we like it red. So we're going to leave it like that. And regarding our tables, we don't have only one table. So we can simply duplicate this table and create as much as we want. So I have created three of them I and I'm... I think you created too many tables. That's true, Loredana. Thank you for the heads up. Actually, I have only two tables in my, in my area. So I'm going to select one of them and I'm going to remove by clicking on the trash can icon. It will ask me to confirm and when I do it, it vanishes from here. The next thing I'm going to do is adjust the size of the tables just to match the correct size that we have in our area. And I'm going to add a new area to it. So a new table that actually is not a table. It is a stage area. So I'm going to change the name. I'm going to click on the A on the top part of the edit. And I'm going to click right down stage area. Since it's a stage area where people is going to be performing, we're going to change the size because it's a round um, area. And we're going to adjust the size so it can meet the criteria that we want. Around this area, actually, a lot of people can sit around and watch the show. So we are going to edit the number of people that can sit down in there by clicking on the icon of a person on the top right part. And we are going to say 100 persons. I don't know. They are going to be very tight, but they don't mind. They like the show. So whenever you click there, you will see that the number of people that can sit in this area is adjusted. And once you click on the pencil here, you will be ready to send your waiter dodging tables, getting orders, sending to kitchen, and making your customers happy. Well, that's it for now. I managed my bar the way I wanted. You can do the same shape and size and everything you want to match your bar. I hope you can do it. And if I don't see you, I hope you see me.